Hi everybody, it's Mike Milnerick here with your quick weekly tuba tip. Tuba safety. It may sound silly, but it's important for us to think about what we do with our instrument when we're not playing it, um, when it's unattended. So my philosophy is to think that if it can get knocked over, it will get knocked over. So thinking about things from that perspective actually makes you put a little more thought into where should I store my instrument or how should I store my instrument when I'm not playing it. So one thing that's very important is if you set the tuba on its bell, uh, always make sure that the other side across from the bell is leaning on against a wall or a solid chair or a desk or something that's kind of immovable. That's one of the better things. If it doesn't move around, it's more solid and then the instrument won't fall over. So that's one, play, one thing to think about. Uh, another thing that you can do, and this is what I usually do, if I'm on an orchestra gig, um, I usually take my instrument and I will lay it down. Um, I lay it down maybe next to my chair or if there's not gonna be a lot of traffic. Or I move it to someplace else where there isn't a lot of people going back and forth and I'll put it down, uh, laying it down so the valves are face up. And, uh, or if I stand it on the bell, it's also out of the way of traffic of other people. So those are really important things. You know, if you're in a high school situation, there's a lot of times where people are just careless and they trip over things and they, and it's all accidental. It's not on purpose, but a lot of times people just aren't paying attention. So, uh, those two things are really important, either leaning it against something or laying it down. And then the other thing that's great is if you got a case, put it in the hard case and leave it there with the lid closed. So this way nothing happens to it while you're gone. All right, I hope this helped out and uh, we'll see you next week.